Hey guys, DT here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new episode of Clash Royale. So the last couple of days have been one of the most exciting days that we've ever had in Clash Royale as the clan Dangerous Things. And so today I wanted to go ahead and of course open the chest that we have earned, the clan chest. And I am so looking forward to seeing what is inside. I have it right here, right in front of me and you guys can see it on the screen as well. But I also have other chests to open and I've kind of been debating as to whether or not I should wait until the um, until the uh, jungle arena is out and some of the other cards unlock or until the electric wizard, it, wizard is out but I just I'm generally not a very patient person and I have these really awesome chests sitting here so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and open them all so let's go ahead and start with the gold chests and see what is inside those I still don't have quite a few legendaries guys I'm sure you know that I was really quite lucky a few months ago when I got a lot of legendaries out of a silver chest and crown chest and the free chest but it really has been very slow for me I haven't been getting many legendaries and so I'm really hoping that there is something special in these chests here today so now let's go ahead and open the clan chest next and as you guys can see we got to the top threshold and let's go ahead and pop this baby open okay so we got quite a bit of gold 3150 got a ton of arrows bomb tower okay more elite barbarians i have elite barbarians coming up yes my first clone spell i have not purchased the clone spell when it was available at the store so this is exciting i can start playing around and experimenting 104 knights 22 mega minion i usually donate those because i don't use mega minion very much in my gameplay okay we got ice golems we got tesla towers and let's see we got a giant skeleton all four of them so um, not not too crazy not super exciting and by the way I really love the new feature of being able to see everything that you've gotten on the bottom below the chest once you open it that's really quite cool so let's go ahead and say shall we open a giant chest let's go ahead and do that and see what's inside we got mega minions we got an ice golem and we got more elite barbarians. Speaking of elite barbarians, guys, quite a few of you have been asking me to come up with a deck uh, that is a good elite barbarian deck. So I'm gonna work on that. I will work on that with my clan and try to, uh, you know, have them experiment with me and do it via the friendly battle uh, because otherwise I don't want to drop back into uh, a lower arena. I really have been quite enjoying the legendary. So let's go ahead and open this magical chest and see what is in there and I am so very much hoping that there is something good and by good I mean I don't have so many cards guys look at how many legendaries I don't have I don't have the uh, lumberjack well I guess I don't have that many uh, I don't have the graveyard and I don't have the uh, baby dragon the inferno dragon but however today in the store I can purchase the graveyard for 40,000 gold I don't have 40,000 gold so Let's go ahead and see if maybe I can get the, maybe I can get the, uh, that legendary from this chest. So let's go ahead and keep our fingers crossed. 668 in gold. We got a minion horde. We only got one. That's, that's not enough. Uh, 27 royal giants. Four mega minions. Okay, this is, this is looking good so far. Common. Oh, guys more clone spells okay so very much underwhelming today nothing too exciting in this but i am going to keep on it and keep on getting more cool chests so i can you know continue to get awesome cards and come up with cool decks so speaking of cool decks my current deck is guys as you can see uh the combination of my favorite lava hound deck i've uh, spoken about it in the previous video i basically just made very few adjustments and i've been going with it for about a week and a half now so if you're tired of that deck let me know in comments below and also let me know in comments below what did you get in the clan chess challenge uh what kind of cards did you get did you get anything that you didn't have already was there anything so exciting that you were just screaming on top of your lungs i really would love to know because i feel like mine mine was okay but it wasn't anything amazing so 
let's go ahead here and jump into a few battles. We'll do like one or two battles and then I will head out and start talking to my clan about coming up with a cool, um, cool uh, elite barbarian deck. So let's jump in and uh, let's try to win a few, uh, a few um, chests here. So usually guys, when I play and I talk a lot, I don't do very well. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit more quiet and I'll just commentate here and there a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Valkyrie. Mega Minion is incoming, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my Princess right in the middle as the Mega Minion is going to approach. And here comes the Miner, so we're gonna take care of the Miner. I'm gonna put my Archers over here, and nice takedown of the Princess there, but nonetheless, it didn't actually, uh, didn't, didn't do much in terms of the Elixir, Elixir-wise, it was not a positive trade, as uh, Mr. Orange Juice would say. So he caused a bit of a damage on both sides, uh, with the Fireball on the left and with the Miner on the right. So we're going to start with a Lava Hound push. Oh, baby, Lava Hound push simultaneously, and both of our Lava Hounds level two. So this is quite something. All right, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pop my cannon over here in the middle as soon as the Lava Hound. Oh man, come on, come on, turn. All right, princess over here, I need to put minions and I need to put archers. I need to kind of go into a defense mode over here. He's gonna use the fireball, took out the princess, but we still have the archers and I did not do nearly enough damage over on the right hand side of my opponent. He's coming in with another miner and we're gonna have to take a bit of a hit from the miner up there because um because this is just not looking very good for me guys oh man um very similar decks we have i just don't have mega minion and i have my minion horde instead so we're causing a bit of a damage over on the right with my miner so we kind of we're evening out over on the right hand side i'm gonna have to wait a little here and then put my princess right behind i know he's gonna go with a fireball so that's a little disconcerting because I know he's gonna take her out. So I'm gonna start with the uh, archers over here. I'm gonna put, uh, oh no, and he does not go for the, no, 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 the Lava Hound does not go for, for the, oh man, this is going to be really, really bad. Lava Hound goes directly for the tower and I need to pop my archers over here to take off, uh, take care of the, of the minions. Oh man, this is not looking good, guys. This is definitely not looking very good for me. Another, uh, another minor situation. We're gonna put a uh, distraction over here. We're gonna put a Valkyrie to distract the baby dragon and distract the Mega Minion. And the Valkyrie is going in. He's definitely in the lead here, guys, but Valkyrie can do. Oh man, okay, I gotta put my cannon over here. I need to put my um, minions, but oh man, I do not have enough air defense here. And another another miner coming in, and this is going to be the end of me, guys. One crown, the enemy prevails. Okay, we can do better in the next one. We can definitely do a little bit better in the next one. Did not get a single crown here, so let's try. <sighs> Concentrate. We can do better. I think the most important part here is to start the push right away because as we know as soon as you drop the card that you just selected it goes back down to the bottom of the deck and that means that I'm gonna have to wait seven cards until I can push again with the Lava Hound so I need to be uh, quite prepared for that uh, I'm gonna put my Valkyrie over here I'm gonna put my archers and I need to pop right again oh perfect 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 princess over on the right hand side we're not gonna worry about it too much we're gonna put minions on her and they're gonna take care of her all right over on the left he's got the a wizard and the ice wizard which is a really powerful combo because the ice wizard is slowing down um, the troops and the regular wiz is frying them up so nice push over here with the um, with the giant, so we're gonna have to take a bit of a hit over here and then start our push. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right, let's go ahead and do this over here. We'll put a miner behind. 
Valkyrie, come on, do a little bit of a spinning there. We're gonna arrow that. And now we're gonna take a few hits from the wizard. It's okay, you can totally do that. Not a big deal, we are in the lead over on the right, uh, on the left. So let's hope that we can continue on pushing. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop Lava Hound. I'm gonna drop the princess. I need arrows, I need to rotate arrows. Oh, <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay, great, great, great. We gotta, we gotta put the great archers on the princess. The giant is gonna get taken out. Perfect. Let's put my minions over here. Let's arrow. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay, this is looking pretty good for me, guys. This is looking pretty good. And the log goes in, takes out the princess, but we still got this 54 HP left over on the left. And we are gonna take that crown. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so Skarmy is really quite annoying when it comes to uh, when it comes to the miner because they do really well defending, but we can literally just do this and uh, guess what? We are going to get that crown guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and put my archers over here and this can go into Nope, actually he does not have enough elixir to even out the field and go into the overtime so one crown victory and a silver chest out of it. So Let's do one more and uh, uh, actually no, it's turning to be a bit of a longer video. I think I'm gonna leave it off here guys. So I want to show you something really, really quickly because as I've mentioned, uh, I got a few requests to come up with a deck that features elite barbarians and I actually um, had a few losses to an opponent with elite barbarians in the last couple of days that featured something very, very similar to this deck over here where there were elite barbs, uh, a very cheap defense with the bomber and then basically a variation of various legendaries there. So this one here has three legendaries, uh, lumberjack, uh, ice wizard and a miner. I don't have a lumberjack so I think I'm gonna try to come up with something very similar, but I will replace Lumberjack possibly with a princess. So we will just go ahead and, and have to watch uh, and see what's gonna happen. Lumberjack is one that looks more expensive than the princess, so mine will end up being probably a, a bit more elixir efficient, but then Lumberjack is kind of a, both the hitter and the uh, rage, so I will have to play around with it, but stay tuned for tomorrow and the day after tomorrow for a deck that will feature elite barbarians, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to drop a comment and tell me what you got in your clan chest, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.